ages, ageless I've been writing verses for ages A nigga ain't sleeping ages My body new but my soul is ancient Patience, patience I've been waiting What's up? This your boy Brian Clancy and I'm back like I never left And my name is Destiana Clancy and I'm back from the last other video <laughs> The last other video? <laughs> well yeah, we back on the Nothing New Under the Sun podcast and I got an opportunity to kick it with my daughter so I pulled her in and said, hey, let's make it epic again. Father and daughter, back at it. It looks like you're really tired. I am very tired. Why are you so tired? Because I can't sleep when it's hot. Yo, what's hot? Hey, so, so, go ahead, run your joke. I have a question. Does anyone know anybody who keeps the air conditioner on 80 degrees? That's not even air conditioner. That is air conditioning because when it gets over 80 degrees, guess what happens? It cools down. But while it's 80 degrees, it's still hot. Is it hot at 80? Yes. Or like, but like you got people that's freezing and. I'd rather degrees. freeze and sleep than be sweating and sleeping. <laughs> okay, I feel you. I feel you. But like. Then I sleep good because you can add layers on when you're cold. But once you're at that butterball naked stage, <laughs> there's no other things you can take off. You can sleep under the water, right? Under the water. Yeah, you get in the bathtub and sleep. I don't know. I, I, that never, I never thought about it like yeah. that. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, that's what, like, I brought you to this tropical place, and that's that's your argument? Like, it's too hot at night? Girl, come on. The last apartment, the AC <laughs> didn't work. Right? Right. So I, But now the AC works at this one. I just was trying to keep And we my, don't use it. I just was trying to keep my bills looking lovely, like I said. It's, you know, I can't complain about $48 a month, but I might, I might, I might up it. I might drop it down to 78. I think it's on 78 right now. Is it on 78? No, it's on 80. No, I think it's on 78. It's on 80. I'll, I'll check it after this. So, Tessiana, what's going on in your age bracket? What's important to you? <laughs> Must be 82 degrees in here. <laughs> that, that was just the AC kicking <laughs> on when she got jumped, right? <laughs> What'd you say? I said, what is going on in your life right now? What's what's the topics? What's what's happening? What's popping? Making money. Making money? And dealing with stupid. I won't call them stupid, but not very intelligent customers. So you calling your you calling your customers uninformed or just stupid? You know, I'm not gonna answer that question. <laughs> okay, good, because you don't wanna alienate your customers, right? Correct, and I don't wanna get Oh, I know, I know. It's that, it's that old rat race. Welcome to the rat race. I'm trying to implement her into my philosophy of, hey, let's make it work for ourselves, and then you won't have to go to that rat race. But I'm in the process. It's been uh, like, you know, I went out to California and tried to shout my idea. I, I got some good feedback, but it was not. I didn't get the money, so I'm back here grinding, and man, somebody is really <laughs> tired. I'm out here grinding and trying to make it work. But, uh, so I will help you out in that process, but I guess you got to learn. I tried to hire you at one time, and I was paying you more than they was paying you now. I paid you $10,000. That's what I get paid. Yeah, but that's a time. Why are we talking? Uh, yeah, I... Yeah, we can just edit that out there. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, let's talk about gun control. What do you think, uh, what do you... So what's in the news is, you know, all these people from Parkland, from Douglas, uh, Douglas High School, I believe, out on the east side of Florida. Uh, you know, 17 students got killed, and they, they're going around, and people are saying that it's a conspiracy. I was actually reading an article on that. Like, they have, they're talking about, like, the people who are, like, actors at the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like the so picture you, of the same girl. <laughs> At every so do you think it's a conspiracy theory or do you I think it, I mean is that important to you or like what I just think it's weird how they always talk about the schools in the hood are always oh so bad but you don't ever hear about school shootings there yeah and they only put metal detectors and gun you know security at the hood <laughs> schools well, they, the uh, let, me put, let me put you up on game. They had they had security there. They had an armed officer there. But when they got to shooting, <laughs> he found a defensive stance where he was able to not get hurt. 
<laughs> he didn't run up in there after him. He was like, I'm going to call for help in my defensive stance. And so he got fired. But then he said, oh, no, I'll retire. So that, that's the other part to that. But what, what do you think about these kids, though? Like, really putting it out there like, yo, trying to go after the NRA, go, trying to go after these representatives that say, um, that say that, you know, they can't do gun control. Like, people should, how old do you think you should be before you'd be able to buy a rifle? A rifle? Yeah. I think the only people who should actually be, like, need to buy that, like, people who actually hunt. Really? What else do you need a rifle for? Man, you never know when it's about to go down. Like, you don't know when the police trying to run up in your spot, where I'm from. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't. I think if you use it in a military, you should be able to use it at age 18. So I think you should be able to have well, it. Well, technically, didn't they say that the dude, he passed the background check and everything for the gun? He passed the background check. So, like, 18 check. is, okay, 18 is the limit. But maybe they just need a stricter, like, I'm, enforcement, like a... A mental, health, through, a mental health thing? Yeah, health like he, you need to but, go through like a psychiatric Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Now he's mentally ill. But let me let me put this in another perspective, right? Are so you like, defending him? I'm, I'm not defending him. I'm, I'm I'm just playing the devil's advocate. And the other part of this is that, um, like, mm -hmm. when they start talking about your mental fit, your mental fit, fitness, right? Like, I feel like it's a bunch of doctors that might just say you're crazy just so they can take your gun. Is that okay? Too sure. And then I feel like they would say, you know, a lot of people are crazy and start taking more guns. Like, I don't know what definition of crazy. Like, some people say I'm crazy for whooping my kids, but I, I think it's raising my kids, right? I know, I know that's a stretch, but at the same time, you know, they, said, I don't, they say you're crazy if you fight to kill. Like, why else do you fight? I don't play fight. So what do you call wrestling? I don't really wrestle. You talk about the sport. That's play fighting. Hmm. Yeah, you, you see, you see boxing? that. Uh, boxing is more technical fighting because uh, it's about a score. It's about if they can knock you out, they will knock you out. Wrestling score. Yeah, wrestling is score. So like, it's I'm talking WWE. Are you talking wrestling? Like that's just fake. <laughs> yeah. So. Some people say it's fake. Some people say you get in there and pick up a grown man that's 200 pounds and throw him down. He gonna feel it. Okay, back to the age thing. So, um, 18. But then, like, now, you know, I, I, I passed 18 a long time. I passed 21 a long time ago. And I passed 25 a long time ago. But, like, to rent a car, sometimes you gotta be 25. How that work? Like you can you you can buy a gun at eighteen, but you can't rent a car till you're twenty. You can't I mean, rent a hotel room till you're twenty one. You can't rent a hotel. No, you can't. Oh wow, that's crazy! I didn't know that. I, I was able to rent a hotel. Room. Maybe it was the caliber hotel rooms I was renting when I was eighteen. But yeah, so then you can the caliber. What I don't know what that is. Like the scale of uh, the hotel room, because it was like a. Oh, like a like a three star, four star. Yeah, star. yeah. So like, I think Red Roof Inn. I I know I rented one, written one in a Red Roof Inn. Even when I went to the military, I rented a room. So and I was I was not playing. Oh. That's when I was supposed to wake up from a nap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, what else is going on? Like I, I like what's in your news? Um, Talking to the mic. I, no. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you ain't said nothing about Wakanda. Like, what's up? Wakanda. Yeah. What about Wakanda? Like the Black, Black Panther, Panther movie? Yeah. Like what? <laughs> like what? Well, what's up? Like you ain't gonna give your thoughts on that? Like it's a bunch of stuff that's going on, and you, you, you I put the mic on, and, and you like. You chilling? Like, come on, Dad, holla at me. Um, okay. So you know, like, uh, the Black Panther movie. One, he is a blessed man. Both Black Panthers. They're very attractive. Well, I'm gonna, but, I'm gonna tell you something too. That, that they dropped a jewel on me online. It was like one was a black jaguar, and one, the other one was a panther. The jaguar with the gold around it, and I was like, oh man, that makes sense. How is he the jaguar? 
if they were both Black Panther. When they got in the fight in the ritual, he was technically classified as Black Panther, not who the was, Black who, who was Who was classified in that as that suit? A... If that is the case, then why was that suit one of the options for the Black Panther when his sister designed it? Hey, I don't know. This is just one of the things that they brought to my attention. See? But they thought uh, they were smart. Yeah, I, I kind of like the Black Jaguar and the Black Panther. Yeah. Because you can't have both. two of them the same name. And he wasn't the Black Panther when he got he the suit. He was Killmonger. Yeah. So what do you think about Killmonger? I told you he was one of my heroes. He's one of your heroes? You said that you, like, you, like, you didn't, uh, <laughs> 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 <'cause> I, <laughs> No, like, I think, like, he stood for the right thing, but then, like, um... The Black Panther said, like, you know, you're turning the concept of him where he was living. He was kind of turning into what was happening to him, trying to change it. But you become what you you become what you hate. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah, but I I don't, I don't like, necessarily I don't... agree with his methods. But if you're talking about a guy who had everything taken away from him, and his only goal was to help people in life, that was his only goal was to get. I'm not saying his idea was bad. Like it was, cause like I I didn't have a problem with him. But I mean, so so was he a hero or no? Yeah, he was a hero. I mean, we we talked about this. We talked about this movie. Uh, we talked about this movie between me and you. And like, so what what are some of the things that? And I told you some of the things that I've thought of the movie. Like uh, I told you how being uh, told you how being black. Uh, and wanting to reconnect with Africa and then with this movie making me feel like why they didn't want to come get me like why was I why why do I feel like it's only uh, this relationship only worked one way Why well, I want to come back and I actually want to see Africa and want to be in touch with my African roots but I don't feel that love coming back did you, did you think about that yeah I mean, I can say I feel the same. So you want to go to Africa? Yeah, I would go to Africa. I don't know if I would live there, but I would visit. Wow, what do you think? What do you think is going on in Africa? You think they don't have the same things that we have in the U.S.? I didn't say that. Oh, but like, I just don't know. Like, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot here. Yeah, and I was literally just complaining about the AC. <laughs> so you ready to go back to Michigan? Okay, so uh, I I'm mean, ready to sleep so what? What feelings did you have coming out of that movie? Uh, coming out of that movie, was it a pride? Did you want to go and put on some uh, African garments? Like what? Well, see, I would do that, but then at the same time, like, I was reading about that too. Like, uh, like that shikis are not like a trend; it's a culture and stuff. So explain that to me. It's not a trend; it's a culture. So tell me what you mean. Like, that's something that people wear, like a different culture. Like, they wear that all the time. It's something that they're used to, their colors. Like, in the in the movie, in the Black Panther, the Wakanda, when they're on the um, water fountains and stuff, they were all the dressed fountains. in the... Oh, I said water fountains. <laughs> the the water waterfalls. Yeah. And they're all dressed in their bright colors, and that kind of reflects on the dashikis. Like, they're always... their bright colors and the mixture of the colors and stuff, but then... Like, people they see, and then it's like, oh, those are cute. I want to wear them, and blah, blah, blah. And then now, all of a sudden, everyone has so much that, I don't know. I mean, I but if you words. if you really talk about bright colors and, and being about, I think black I'm people I'm not talking love about bright colors. I'm talking about the dashiki itself. Okay. All right. So, you think that. Everybody like, wears bright colors. But, okay. So, a, uh, so uh, a white guy in a, in a, in a karate suit. That's not acceptable. That's another like cultural thing. So do you think? But then at the same time, it depends on how, like, if that guy has been training in karate, like all his life, then is that him trying to? That's not him trying to be in a trend. That's him doing something that. But isn't all fashion trendable? I'm. I'm just saying. I. I, I know. I feel like I'm. I'm coming at you. I'm just. I'm just trying to. Yeah, I feel like talk. I'm on like the stand or something. <laughs> Everything I say is like. I'm, oh well, what about this or did it? Like, yeah. I mean, I. I want you to. 
like I'm trying to figure out the theory of relativity, right? So I really want to know your thought process on it. And like, if like I would wear a dashiki, I don't have a dashiki. Dashiki? Did you just call it a shiki? The shiki. The dashiki. 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 Okay, my fault. No disrespect, y'all. Dashiki. <laughs> dashiki. All right. So like, uh, but I don't have one. I don't even know where you go buy them. No disrespect. I just don't. Okay, so you wouldn't wear a dashiki? Dashiki? I would, but they're not really for me. I don't. Oh. What about them, like, African flowing dresses or the hair things? I would wear the hair scarf wrap. It's really protective for your hair, like, when you don't feel like doing something. That's something, like, a lot of natural hair girls are doing. All right, so your overall grade on that movie is a what? I, I don't know how they grade movies. A, A to F. A. I liked it and I can't wait for two. Did you just go on straight to two? Did you see it more than once? Just once? I've only seen it one time. Oh, well, I appreciate you going that one time with your dad. I appreciate you taking <laughs> All right, so uh, let's talk about hair. So I know that you be on YouTube and you be checking out all the stuff on hair and stuff. Like, how much do you think you spend, or like, what all are you doing? Give me some backdrop on that. A lot of money. Okay. Being natural is a lot of money. But it's worth it. How does being natural mean a lot of money? Like, because, so what it is, is like other hair products, they have all these other chemicals in it. It's kind of like a fast made and stuff when all the natural hair products are like these natural oils, natural seeds and stuff that are all mixed together to give you this custard but that takes I feel like what it is like it takes more time to make it so it's more expensive because like you can go get uh I don't know some type of gel for like three dollars but then if you're looking for like the natural stuff without the sulfates and stuff that's like nine dollars so there's a big difference in how healthy you want your hair then there's like the hair mask that you can put on the leave-in conditioners the deep conditioners and then going from here most people who are like natural in their hair start moving to the skin and they start doing like the face mask and the mud masks and all that and... bruh look at this dude <laughs> wait till you see the <laughs> no 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the top of his head. 